Welcome to the video you guys. As you guys saw from the thumbnail, we have a special video for you all. Hit her with the ol. See if she'll start a first kick. What do you guys think? Oh yeah. The pepper. We're rolling up on the spot right now. You guys ready? Are you guys ready? I don't think you guys are ready. A little over a year ago today, probably a year and a couple months, we made our first ever RC car collection video. We'll see if we can't throw the thumbnail into this clip somewhere around here. I don't know where we're gonna put it, but it'll be somewhere on this screen. And uh, you guys will notice the collection was maybe 12 cars, 12 RC cars. I think it consisted of, we had the Losi MTXL, we had the Losi LMT, we had the Super Baja Ray, the OG Super Baja Ray, which we no longer have, unfortunately. I believe we had the BMW. We had the TRX 6, I think. And then we had, honestly, I don't even really remember. We had we had my TRX 4, um, those little drift trucks right there. We had the Hoonicorn, Ken Block's Hoonicorn. We had that, but pretty much everything else we have amassed in the last year and it has gotten out of hand as you guys can see i mean look at this rc four-wheel drive truck this is an rc four-wheel drive excavator rc four-wheel drive earth dozer but that's also an rc four-wheel drive it's a loader uh, we got the x max scx6 kraken vecta 5 that thing is insane and heavy has a couple of mods you can see it's got the outer wear um, this thing's never been driven. It's got a couple of different things on the rear axle that are aftermarket. We have the Losi MTXL. This is an absolute beauty. Rare find right here. We have the Losi DBXLE 2.0. Another beauty. Driven maybe once. <laughs> my 5T right here, which I am selling to my dad because I need money for my car. So this will be staying in the collection. But we do have a few cars I'm probably going to be getting rid of in here. That just, yeah, I, like this Arma Crayonatus. I do not like these. <laughs> They're kind of always breaking compared to the X-Max. The X-Max is kind of a beast compared to it. This thing just, I think it's because it's metal, weighs a lot more, has a lot more issues. Has to dump a lot more money into this thing to keep it running good. We have the Losi Super Rock Ray, Losi Super Baja Ray 2.0. These are both 2.0s, I'm pretty sure. This thing's actually broken right now. We have the Mini JRX T. We have the Mini JRX T Buggy, or JRX 2, my bad. We have the Mini T 2.0. This absolutely beautiful rare find right here. This is a Ferrari uh, Nitro Indy car, or F1, my bad, not Indy. No one likes Indy, it's all about F1 around here. But yeah, this is a, a Kyosho Nitro car, I believe. This thing right here is probably one of my favorite RC cars. This is our Burrell. Uh, it's supposed to be like a Nitro RC go-kart. This is a real brand, actually, Burrell go-karts. Some great cars out there, but they uh, this is a Kyosho as well. Kyosho was just doing it different back in the day. We got this little three-wheeler. Not sure who makes this. This might be Kyosho too. I'm not positive. We have this beautiful, beautiful hauler right here with a low boy with the HPI WR8 Flux in Nitro. These things are the best RC rally cars to date, in my opinion. This FG Sports Line, it's an M3 E92 GT model. It's what the body's supposed to be. As you can see, she's taking some serial damage right here. My dad actually ran into this concrete barrier coming full speed up the driveway. It was not good. Should have been filming, completely missed it. We have the HPI 
WR8, or no, this isn't a WR8. This is just an HPI uh, Ken Block Edition. I don't know what the, I think it's like a Sport RS4 or something like that. TRX6 under it. This has the uh, the hydraulic bed kit. It's not hydraulic, but I forget what it's called. But you, you get the gist. Got a couple semi trucks right here, just a little miscellaneous guys. This is a one of one dually right here, custom built off of a semi chassis. This thing is sick. It's one of my dad's favorite. We got two of the Pro Bolt Recoil 2s right here. Those things are so fun. We have a load of vintage buggies. We actually have one in the house too. But yeah, these are all different from. We got Team Associated. I believe this is a Losi. We got a couple of Losis in here, some Kyo shows. Uh, a whole lot of them are Tamiya. But uh, yeah, like this thing is straight vintage. And then we got the. Tamiya, Tamiya, that's Kyosho, I guess. Um, that thing is probably my favorite of them all. This is the Mint 400 edition Tamiya car. This thing is so sick. Look at the oil reservoir. It's like a bottle. Runs to the rear shock, which is mounted like vertical. It's crazy. This thing is insane. It is so sweet. We also got the, I think this is a Tamiya car as well. It's like a V-Dub bug turned into a Doom buggy. Uh, TLR, stadium short course truck. We have TRX4 with some mods. It's the uh, Bronco. We have this thing, which is an absolute beauty. This thing right here rips. This is the uh, Low C Razor Rate. This thing is sick. Handles amazing. Some people don't like it. I love it. We have the, this is the High Trail Edition. It's the uh, Ford Bronco High Trail Edition. That thing is also an amazing crawler. Straight out of the box ready to rip and it crawls amazing got the sun racing f450 we're actually going to be getting rid of that that little guy i think it's associated i don't know it's just an rc car so i threw it in we got these two guys right here not sure who makes these my dad knows more about that kind of stuff we have this military tank which is falling apart as you can see it's it's been through some stuff but we got a couple of vateras right here these are two vateras these are the tlr Mini no prep drag cars. These things are so fun. What a blast. We have three of the Traxxas drag slashes. We have three because we bought a kit of two and then my buddy left one. He left one in the driveway and my girlfriend was backing up and she straight ran over it. As you can see, it was this one right here. Looking a little rough. Body's a little damaged. But yeah, it got ran over. Um, my dad was out of town so we threw together some money, ordered a new one, and that is this one. This one's never been driven before. So, yeah, if you break stuff, always always get a new one because that's just messed up, especially if it's not yours. We have a mint, never ran JRXT right here. This thing is vintage, a beautiful piece right here. No electronics in it, never been driven, but literally a the exact version of the mini JRXT, which is an exact version of this. Then we have the RC10T, which would have been like a competitor with the JRXT back then. We have another JRXT, not as in mint condition, but, you know, still very cool. We have this guy right here. I think my dad said this is a Traxxas, a Pontiac Fiero. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I don't know if it's Traxxas or not. It might not be. This is my dad's first ever RC car. So he bought this actually brand new off eBay. He paid a load of money for it. We unboxed it, and I am not the smartest lad, and I deleted the footage. So, yeah, that video never came out. <laughs> Here we got the Probo Aero Trooper. It's like an Airbo with a bunch of lights. This thing is sweet. We have a little Horizon Hobby uh, E-Flight little, I don't know what this thing is, a Timber Turbo. This thing gets down. It's pretty quick. Pro Boat River Jet Boat. This thing's pretty cool. Really slow. This full custom built. This thing is beautiful. I don't even know what to call it. This is a Tamiya truck that was extended. They put a bed on it. As you can see, it's kind of peeling. We got to fix it. But uh, yeah, this thing is sick. Billet wheels. She's a beauty. Another HPI WR8 Flux. This one's actually broken. We broke the rear arm on it, but this is the electric version. This thing gets down. If you guys have seen the shorts or videos of this thing, you guys know it rips. We got the Hammer Ray. Personally, not a fan of this thing. Stock, it drives like absolute garbage. That's just my opinion. We have the Traxxas Dragster as a roller and clear body um, yeah it just kind of rolls and then we have a Traxxas Spartan right here this thing hasn't moved in a minute we took it to the lake once it caught a wave did a huge flip and kind of damaged the hole so 
We haven't really touched that in a while. We need to get some batteries for it and go drive it. We got these two bad boys right here, Team Associated Nomads. When we first got these, these were the shiz right here. These things were straight tanks. Now I drive them, they're like so slow because of what else we have as you can see. But those things were sweet rides. We got a TRX 4M, the best mini crawler right here. Then we got this uh, Element, it's like a Toyota 4Runner. We got the TRX 4 Trax model right here. This thing does not do very well compared to the other ones just because it doesn't have walkers and all that. But that thing is definitely the best crawler we have. We got some more Tamiya semis with trailers. We got this guy. We got this guy. This one's clean. The full chrome setup with the chrome tanker trailer and this beautiful Tamiya chrome hauler. Thing is sick. And then we come over here. This is probably one of my favorites. We got the box truck. This thing is sick. I'm pretty sure these doors even open. I don't know, I'm not going to mess with it because I won't break it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this opens. You can put stuff in there, which is awesome. Express, this is also sick. Check this thing out, you guys. This thing is a straight beauty. Look at that. The red just goes real well. But yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much how the collection's looking. It's gotten insane. It probably won't get any bigger than this. It might, I don't know. But uh, we got... We missed a couple cars, hang on. The low C LMT right here, this thing's an absolute beauty. It gets down. It does have some breakage parts. Like as you can see, the rear axle on it's broken right now. Uh, it's got a billet front axle, plastic rear axle, that's why it broke. You definitely wanna upgrade the axles on this thing and throw some limiting straps on it before you go bash it. We have this, this is a Traxxas. I don't remember what model, but it's sweet. We have this thing, it's the Monster Beetle probably a Tamiya or something. I don't know, it's vintage. We got this thing, this thing has four wheel steering. Pretty cool, very vintage, it's a Kyosho. Well enough of me talking, let's hit you guys with some sick drone footage. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I didn't want to make this too long. I want to kind of keep it short and sweet and simple. And uh, as you guys can see, I think I think we nailed that. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but hopefully it's not 30 minutes long. I don't, I don't know how people sit there and watch a video for 30 minutes, especially like videos like these. Like no one wants to watch that for 30 minutes. I mean, that's just wild. But anyways, I'm going to quit jibber jabbering on because I could talk to you guys for eight hours. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are digging how the RC car collection is coming. I don't know if we're gonna be posting a lot of RC content right now just because I'm trying to get my car running. I personally love car content. That's kind of like where my heart and soul is. But I don't mind making RC content. It's kind of fun. It can be repetitive. So I'm trying to like intermix a little bit maybe. I don't know. But I personally love car content. I'm obsessed with cars. It's it's, it's a good time. Cars are sick, but RC cars are sick too. Please smash that subscribe button. It helps so much. Helps me be able to make these videos for you guys. And it'll help us grow this. Grow our car setup. And yeah, every it just helps grow everything. If you guys just hit that subscribe button. Watch my videos if you enjoy them. If you don't, I don't care what you do. Go do something else. Just go watch someone else. I don't really care. But if you enjoy the videos, please smash the subscribe button. And uh, other than that, it's going to end off the video. Thank you guys for watching. This took me like 10 hours to make. And uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.